All right, so here we go. Uh, we're going to be doing the Vortex campaign, and we start out here uh, in the Spine of Sotek. Over by the, the Skaven and Lizard Men and stuff. For him, we have Suitable Climate Jungle, obviously. Oath Gold from buildings, plus 50%. Plus 50% Oath Gold cost. Crafting runes down 50%. Hero recruit rank plus five for runesmiths. Thorge master th <laughs> upkeep reduced by twenty five percent for runesmiths heroes. Armor piercing weapon damage plus three for the Lord's army. Woohoo! I mean, I guess it, it's it adds up when it's for the entire Lord's army. Uh, armor ten for the Lord's army. Oh boy, more armor. Then again, if you take like dwarf warriors or something and give them like 90 armor it's pretty it's honestly this plus this plus 10 is not terrible because on the high end so the percentage increase is higher but yeah another lore of the battle royale that is illustria right the random ass dwarf lord they threw in for filler in the airby region got a lord oh uh, well this isn't air this isn't the airby region um so when you hang on a second, when you do it in Mortal Empires, this guy in Mortal Empires, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He is um, he's World Edge. So this this is like the uh, the Carrick Norn area. Yeah. So like the Lizard Men are like over here, and then then you got stuff over here, and then like the Rat Men are up to the north. So yeah, you start like down by the uh, the like clan moors and the dragon isles and stuff. Boop. Master Rune Lord of Karakazul. No, they don't start in Lustre and Mortal Empires. Start on the other side. You know, my dwarf campaign, I was reading lore to rename all the famous characters to the original n names. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, and then reload time reduction for bolt throwers, grudge throwers, and coral units. That's pretty good. Like, that's pretty damn solid. Um, reload reduction. So it was nice. I mean, their pseudo climate is useless except for that small pocket of the last defenders get. Yeah, but they're still good for the all the mountains and stuff around if they're over on the if they're over on the other side, that means they can expand they can expand north and they can expand out into the where the lizard men are and not have any problems, essentially. So it's not really that big of an issue for them. Cause they are still like badlands and all that good stuff, right? Because they're dwarves. It just gives... They're basically dwarves that have, like, extra expansion options in that region. So. Uh, and then our additional starting units is we get a long beard with great weapons, we get an iron breaker, and we get a grudge thrower, which these things are all good. Oh, they horribly one of the fantasy meat blenders wipe out a hold until another crazy person tries to take it back. Uh, it's a lost Karak hold and no... Has no lore, like legendary lost hold. Dwarves keep trying to reclaim it. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, because it's one of the holds that had like one of the elder, the uh, uh, the ancestor dwarves used to be there or whatever. So like the dwarven gods. <laughs> it's the latest crazy person, right? Because I believe Carrick Norn was like one of the first dwarf holds. Alright, but we're going to start this campaign. Let's do it! Let's do it! Ah. 
now prepare for many minutes of me reading. Hope everybody's got their glasses on. <laughs> Get out your notepads, chat. Here we go. From one land infested with blasted Raki to another, it seems the only difference is the eat. These vermin best stay out of my way, else they'll meet the mighty steel of my hammer. It seems a local clan has made their home here. Might be they know something about the ancient vaults that lie hidden in these strange mountains. Strange this mountains. This forsaken continent may be where the purpose of my journey is fulfilled. If the old texts be true, a trove of ancient Dawi artifacts lays buried somewhere near, hidden amidst these strange, forgotten ruins of centuries past. This land could hold the key to restoring the proud legacy of our people. In King Cazador's name, I will unearth the lost relics of our ancestors and bring glory to the Dowie once more. Ah, yes. Dowie, glory, all that good stuff. All right, Iron Brows Expedition. All right, so the artifacts of the vault. This is Thorak Eyebrow's personal quest to seek out the lost artifacts of the dwarves' golden age by collecting parts of the ancient items recorded in the Book of Grudges. He can return them to the artifact vault and reforge them to receive their powerful benefits. Access via the forge and artifact vault reveals the location of each artifact part, and which can only be... Retrieve through occupation or military alliances. Same with the dwarf faction that spawns next to the best faction in the game, Crooked Moon. Uh. Kark Ziflin? That's where Barn is from. I knew the name sounded familiar. The Forge, experts in binding the Winds of Magic to the stone or metal dwarves can use Oath Gold in conjunction with trade resources to make magical weapons, armor, talismans, and enchanted items to improve their strength in battle. Grudges. Well, no, we should all know about grudges by now, but I'm going to say it anyways. Dwarves maintain a record of all the grievances committed against them in the Damas Kron. Their book of grudges, losses suffered by the dwarf factions recorded so that they may have be avenged later and then underway. You can move through mountains. Eric Ziffel is next to Drakenfels. Ah, uh, what is it? There's somebody like, there's, so, Car um, there's like, trickin' all those smaller dwarf holds that go up and around, and they all kind of sound the same. Like, they have very similar names. <laughs> I don't remember what they all are. Uh, I think so, but, yeah, the dwarf was led by a dwarf queen. <laughs> sure, hello, R3 Esquire. Alright, so a new home. Capture the following settlement belonging to Clan Mange. Our foes are numerous, and each of them stands in their way to our glory. Capture the nearby settlement and demonstrate the true power of the Anvil of Doom. Get treachery and oath gold for that. Okay. Mission. Cool. Uh, Alright, well, let's check out the forge. What do we got going on here? Aha. So we can get ancestor heroes now. Through a hero's pendant and a chain of binding. So we so now now ghosty heroes are available to other dwarf factions as well. Which depending on how frequently the AI gets to build these, that could become very annoying. <laughs> we'll find out how that goes. Hopefully that that's on a pretty heavy cooldown for the AI, because that would be super annoying if all the dwarves start spamming ghost heroes everywhere. Uh, uh, Ratchet's color of steel control. Yoked Carnosaur will be added to the regiment's renown pool. Well, that's kind of cool. Get a Carnosaur. Um, Morgrim's Gears of War. Range 15% for bolt throwers, grudge throwers, and coral units. Missile strength 15% for bolt thrower, grudge thrower, and coral units. 
Ammunition for all those as well. Reload time reduction. That's dope. Gears and spurs. The hell kind of gear is this? How is this supposed to work? I don't think the AI gets access to the factional workshops. Never seen two games awaken legions. I suppose, yeah, it might be might be true that they just won't have access to it, which I'm okay with, honestly. Uh, seven years metallurgy cipher, oath gold generated temper turn, armor for lords and bedded heroes, additional tradable resources produced, 100% faction wide. Holy butts! That's Okay, but you need to have enough trade partners for this to be worthwhile, honestly. Like, if I double my trade resources and I don't have enough trade agreements, then, like, I just have a bunch of trade resources that aren't doing anything. <laughs> like, ah, I have piles of stuff that I'm not selling. And then, let's see. These tongs of the runesmith. Melee attack 5 for miners and longbeards. Great weapons. Enable sundering attacks for miners and longbeards. Great weapons. Share cooldown. Negative 50% 50 for all rune magic. It's kind of nice. Uh, Alright, and then these are the ancestral runes. Grimnir. Moderate magical damage. Large strike area. Good against armor. Strong versus multiple. Vortex. So a vortex spell that's good against armored. Uh, Ancestral Rune of Grimgini. Unit is invulnerable to damage, does not apply to summon units. Plus four, 24 on melee attack and unbreakable. For 35 seconds. 35 seconds of the unit not being able to take damage. That's pretty good. <laughs> hey, you over there. Stop taking damage. And 24 melee attack, too, so. Ancestral Rune of uh, Valaya. Crowned ally restores almost 2,000 HP and 100% vigor. So this is basically, uh, this rune is essentially just, like, the re the regen spell or whatever. Yeah, I've heard it here too. <laughs> Damn it, Nightbot. Okay, so we got a bunch of new stuff here that we can reforge. So that's kind of neat. Um, some special runes and stuff. This stuff is probably all basically the same. I would imagine they might have added a couple of new things in here too. But this is this has been a, this kind of stuff has been around for a while. Um, and it's been a while since I played the dwarf. So honestly, I can't remember like if they like looking at this. I'm not gonna know right off the top of my head if they added a, an armor or something. It's just. I haven't played the dwarves in a while, so I can't remember what all was in here before. Okay, and then you can forge runes as well. To add to people. Melee defense, armor. Frenzy, melee attack. Ward save. So this is all, like, add-on stuff you can give. Constant in melee causes... Oh, so, nice. <laughs> So you could give some, you give somebody the uh, freaking more dissension ability. <laughs> That's okay. Twenty percent HP increase. We're gonna flight. Magic missile. Okay. All right, what we got here? Banner runes. Okay, so these you can put on like banners. Whole bunch of freaking bonuses. Whole bunch of bonuses. Bombards the area around the cast are most effective when surrounded. Ignores armor. Ignores armor. An explosion that ignores armor. Okay. <laughs> All right, I guess. And let's see, what's this? Currently, no items recycle. Okay, so that's just recycling. That's fine. 
in the master room of self-destruct. Explosions! All right, then we have our grudges here. Um, so this is obviously normal, but we just have a bunch of these already. And then we get uh, rewards for this as well. Reforge the falling artifacts, and then we get all the gold for it, pretty much. So we just have a bunch of these going on. Yeah, so it's basically just reforge all the all the artifacts for these grudges. That's what it looks like. So it, it's basically just telling us to get all this stuff. Nifty. Did they do anything to the tech tree? This looks... I don't think these used to be here. Were they? I think it just launched into this stuff before. I mean, these don't do anything. They're just there for freaking, like, G Wiz factor. They don't give any bonuses or anything like that. But I don't remember these being here. But again, it's been a while since I played the dwarves, so. Uh, grudges have a lot more severities now. There used to be like three, now there's seven. Hang on, let me check. Yeah, we got the bar up here. Yeah, so, relations with dwarf research rate, public order. Trade of order. Nothing happens. On turn, moderate chance of slayers will be added to the regiment's renowned pool. Ah, that's kind of nice. You just get. <laughs> and when, when you're grumbling, you just randomly get slayers in your regiment's renowned pool. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. Um, high chance slayers will be added to the regiment's renowned pool. Diplomatic relations goes down. Research rate goes down. Public order goes down. On turn, very high chance of Slayers to be added, but... And you get charge bonuses as well. Yeah. Well, I don't know if they're free. I don't know if they're free Slayers, but they're Slayers that you can just, like, instantly throw in your armies. Yeah, a lot of factions take on Slayer Oath. It's tier 6 severity for the Dwarves. I want to speak to your manager. <laughs> Enraged! Okay. So that's kind of neat. I like that there's, like, bonuses and detriments at the same time. It makes the mechanic a little bit more interesting. You know, so it's not just like... Yeah, the over here... Bad things happen. Over here, good things happen. You know. That's cool. This being said, like... Is it really that time Mighty. Again? It seems as if you only just arrived. Thank you. For the 10 months. Appreciate that greatly. <laughs> Neat, he says. <laughs> but thank you so much for continuing your sub here on the channel. It means a lot to me. So if you're getting kicked while you're down, you get some support slayers to help you bounce back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I was going to say, I, th I feel like the negative 20 research rate is probably like the, the thing that's the most annoying here. And, and that's really just annoying. It just slows down your research rate. And it's not actually like a huge problem. Um, it's just bothersome. So, even if you're enraged, it's not going to, like, completely screw your game over. It's just going to be kind of like... But then you get Slayers, so... So that's alright. And like I said, I don't think there really anything here. This all looks normal. Except for maybe these. But I can't remember if these were already here or not. Uh, let's see, let's go to Artifact Vault. That's just this, okay. So that that is just the Forge. It's the artifact vault is just this part of the forge. Um, let's check our objectives. Reforge at least five artifacts in the artifact vault. Win the following battle, the lost vault. Domination, victory. Okay, so it's kill everyone, right? Gotcha. Well, not everybody. The domination victory doesn't actually have you killing everybody. It just has it killing everybody on Lustria. And then reforging eight artifacts. Okay. Not bad. Hey, look, a time where I can watch the stream. Well, hey, Mr. War. Good to see you. I'm glad that you're able to be here. All right, what else do we want to look at? Oh, yeah. I want to look at him. So, we have these character runes now. Obtain them quick character runes. They improve your character. Character runes primarily gained by crafting. So, you can craft, and then you can shove runes 
three runes onto a character, slot them up, basically. Then you get your mount and your channel items, stuff like that. And then you have your banner runes, which are, we were, we had these before, um, but I think they added more. Add explosive damage to, uh, that reduces enemy leadership. Okay, so you can put this on an artillery unit and it makes things explode. Okay, so you, you could throw this on like a rock trucker or a, a ballista or something like that and uh, things blow up. Not bad. All the ways are best. Rune of speed. Rune of oath and steel. Master of the ancient lore. Reduces ability recharge by five seconds when in melee. Resist, magic resist. 45, 45. Not very good on the melee attack and melee defense, but still good armor, obviously. Weapon strength is pretty darn solid. I imagine his animation is not like super good. Grood. Super good. Um, <laughs> Grood. Both good and great. Uh, most dwarves don't have really good animation in their melee attack. Basically it turns a rock trucker into a cannibal trucker into a ballista into a rocket launcher. <laughs> you got a 10 out of 10, right? So you get full AoE lightning attacks? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't actually seen him in melee yet, so we'll find out. We'll find out. All right, so... Cloud Barak. Um... This... Gives him a bombardment lightning attack. Small strike area, multiple commands, good for his armor, good against artillery pieces. So this is the like single strike lightning bolt. Recharges if he's engaged in melee, gives him sundering attacks and frenzy. It's pretty good. Uh, I guess the fire eruption rune. Thorax rune armor, fire resistance, magic resist, armor, and. Self and around self, 15 armor and 10% flame resistance. It's okay. It's not crazy. It's not terrible. Doesn't have like a bunch of freaking ward safe slapped on it or something. <laughs> but does have AOE extra armor and flame resist, I guess. Uh, then you got the Anvil of Doom. Veteran Anvil Guard, plus 8, plus 8. That's nice. No, no, it's, it's just that there's a lot of people that actually don't know that Total War Access exists. So, I figure I'd make a link to it. <laughs> Rune Master. Because the, the, every time they release a uh, new FLC, they add they usually add stuff in the Total War Access also. So. Let's see. Rune Master, Miscast Chance, and Shared Cooldowns go down. It's nice. Replaces Locust power, greatest locust power. Enemy casters in range suffer minor miscast explosion when casting. Interesting. Hmm. Constant explosion. Enemy in range. Target of casting. So basically, if you try to cast while he's around, you blow up. Or you have a chance to blow up. That's kind of neat. It's different. You just walk up there and casters try to cast spells and just start killing themselves. <laughs> I'm into it. Rune of Grimnir. Mist Resist. Yeah, okay. Fiery Temper. Cool down. 20, negative 20% for Master Rune of Wrath and Ruin. Exacting Standards. Hero Action Chance. 50% for Rune Smiths. All heroes. Nice. Master Rune of... Strum, Strumny? Redbeard? <laughs> Cooldown reduced for all rune magic. Ornery Overseer, Oath Gold from buildings, 200%. Local province, construction costs, local province go down, construction time goes down. So if you have him in a, a region, he makes things build fast. Nice. Rip hybrid lords are going to miscast themselves to death. I mean, I imagine that's the reasoning behind it. Runic Talismans, passability, Master Rune of Spite, Ward save 5%, passability, Master Rune of Grimgini. So that's direct damage, constant around self, and then 
constant and allies in range, 20% missile resist as well. So some good AoE is there. Missile resist and just causing damage when you're melee. Proven tools, Flaxen's Rune of Seeking, anti-large projectiles home in on their targets for grudge through you. What? What? Okay. 50% more armor piercing for Quarrelers. Uh, Rune of Burning Projectiles causes explosive damage for bolt throwers. So you can have explosive seeking bolt throwers with this, essentially. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's alright. I mean, it gives. Uh, it might give a reason to build bolt throwers, right? Hey, hey, Grow Marker, how's it going? Like, bolt throwers are usually overlooked, so... Maybe this is good enough? Basically dwarf doom divers? Kind of. Um... Not the same arc of fire, obviously. Yeah, bolt throwers with flaming, explosive, seeking. Could be good. We'll have to see. Uh... Runic production lines. It, I mean, this all depends on how much damage it really kind of equates to, right? Charge bonus 7 for Lord's Army. Passive ability Frenzy Lord's Army. So your entire army is frenzied. Alright. And good at charging. <laughs> Interesting. Long beards. Just freaking going to town. How can you know a troll Skaven monster? Yeah, no kidding. Like, hey, by the way, you have uh, you have regeneration? Well, we're about to do a ton of damage to you. Also, it's seeking, so get bent. Oh, yeah, nobody was using both throws before. You're right, Steinberg. So, I mean, I, I think this is fine. I, I'm just curious if it's going to make it worthwhile to build bolt throwers, right? If it does, that's cool, right? I, I like having the it, like, have more options, right? You're like, hey, I have bolt throwers. I'm going to give them this, and then they're going to be effective, right? As opposed to just being like, eh, you build bolt throwers if you, uh, some reason can't build grudge throwers. Or you don't have the time to build them. <laughs> yeah. Alright, then we have all these runes. We got the rune of speed. Rune of oath and steel. Uh, wrath and ruin. Dampening, negative eight, winds of magic power reserve, rune of slowness, forge fire. These basically are all spells, the equivalent of spells. Negation, you get that nice 40% magic, uh, freaking damage resistance. Strike the runes. All local enemy armies, negative 10 magic resist, and negative 10% missile resist. Ooh. Ooh, so if you're in my territory, you are going to be more susceptible to magic and missiles. Oh, this? Ah, uh, Lord's Army. Yeah. But it's, uh... Yeah, it's Flaxen's Rune of Seeking. So, it's your army, I guess. Uh, but you might be able... It's a rune? Which means you... Maybe you can give it to other people? I'm not really sure. We'll have to see. I don't think anyone will ever really take bolt throws over other artillery or over thunderers. Uh, I mean, the problem is the dwarves have really effect a bunch of really effective artillery, right? So, bolt throws are just kind of at the bottom of the list of really effective artillery they have, so... Unless you're broke. It's like, I need artillery and I don't have any money. <laughs> I think all this stuff is normal. I don't think they changed any of this. This is all just like bonuses to units. Archer, anything change here really? No, I think this stuff is all normal. Seems, seems normal anyways. Uh, like, I get the fact that he hates tech, but if that was a faction-wide, it would make for such a different playstyle. Yeah, potentially. Yeah. Alright, so that's all his stuff. Some interesting things. Some interesting things. Um, we'll see how it plays, I guess. Uh, we also want to look over here. Let's go to the spell browser. Because now we have, uh, now we have runic magic. 
Um, so we got this here, which is damage damage resist on the rune of negation. And then we have the ultimate of steel, which is 30 armor. You can also overcast this. Just a greater effect. Wrath and Ruin, which is now, uh, I believe, an explosion. Yeah, so that now blows people up. And then greater explosion armor piercing with the overcast. We're going to breaking, armor piercing, weapon damage. And base weapon damage and then sundered armor as well. Makes it last longer. Master Rune of Speed makes people go fast and gives them melee attack. Do you want... <laughs> need people to be rush... Need people to be rushing. There you go. Everybody is rushing. And then Rune of Slowness, which is pretty much the opposite. So all this stuff is like single target, pretty much, except for the uh, Rune of Wrath and Rune, which is an explosion. But it's, the explosion looks like it's mostly going to be single target. Unless, of course, everybody stacks up, right? Why could this stuff miscast? That's honestly a pretty good question, considering runes are supposed to be the safe magic that can't a miscast, lore-wise. <laughs> I mean, I get it from a game mechanic style, because, like, there, otherwise there's no reason to not overcast. They could have made it, like, a longer cooldown or something. Like, a, the global cooldown was longer if you overcast it. Um... But yeah, that's the reason why the dwarves use runes instead of regular casting is because it's not... Uh, because of the lack of hurting yourself when doing it, essentially. So yeah, it's a little weird, lore-wise. Good honest rock. Honestly, but... Yeah. So yeah, I, I don't know about that. I, again, it just feels it feels a little bit weird lore-wise, but I, I mean, I get why they did it, because it just makes it in line with the rest of the magic systems in the game. So. Unless it's to assume that they hit it really hard, and it's a huge risk to them to do that, because you could break the rune or something like that. I don't know. I, I feel like adding like a, a longer cooldown would have made it more lore-friendly, right? So you strike the rune really hard, and then it takes longer to recharge. Right. As opposed to, like, potentially blowing yourself up, because that's, like, the the reason why dwarves use runes is so they don't blow themselves up. <laughs> so, yeah. Well spotted. Good point. Good point. Uh, is there anything else, really, that we need to look at here, chat? Um, oh yeah, somebody asked, what is his lord effect? Lord of Garakazol. So we have the old ways are best, which gives his army armor piercing damage, armor, and reload time reduction. And then faction effect is the master of runes, which is more oath gold. Oath gold cost is down. Here's recruited their runesmiths or plus five rank and upkeep reduction for runesmiths as well. Yeah, he starts with a unit of iron breakers. Iron Breakers. Alright, so... I think we can actually start playing. That actually was a relatively short reading session, honestly. Um, overall. Let's do... Technology... Settlement... Settlement buildings... And Lizardmen. Gather the throngs, recruitment... Missile strength... Uh, I think we want to go economy first here, unless there's something that increases growth, but I'm pretty sure there isn't, if I remember right. And if there was, it would be in here somewhere. Oh yeah, there it is. Growth plus 10, heavy cor corn stones. Power of the guilt's command, another 15 growth. Yeah, okay, so there's some growth stuff, it's just further down that way. Uh, let's do this, and then we'll get dwarf and diplomats as well, with help with these lizard men that are around. Does this guy hate all gunpowder weapons? Ready! Ready? He does get bonuses to quarrelers and stuff. 
but it, I, you're not like restricted from building gunpowder things. You can still get like miners blasting charges and that nonsense. Um, but his quarrelers do get a bonus. Catch me hours of sleep before it gets light outside. How long are you streaming today? Uh, I'm not really sure. Particles, I'm just streaming. <laughs> so, so uh, if you're going to be back in a few hours, and maybe maybe I'll still be here. I'll probably still be here, honestly. Let's check our diplomacy. All right, so we have non-aggression pact and military access with these dwarves. Sentinels of Chati. Southern Sentinels. Clan Mange, obviously. You got Clan Pestilens. Which only has one settlement. Rat provides. Where, do they, where do they start? I forget exactly where they start here. I think it's over here, isn't it? Isn't it Chalansek? Oh, no, wait. They, they, they still start on Axel, right? Jeez, it's been so long since I played the Vortex map. <laughs> I honestly don't remember where the freaking faction starts. Dang it, Clan Pestilens. Yeah. I think they do start in Ajax, so I just ex usually expanded south very quickly when I played them. Yeah. Okay, and so these are the things that designate where the, the artifacts are that we need to find, I believe. So can we see all these already? The circles are kind of hard to see from up, like if you've got the camera pan back, I suppose. It's easier to see like those. There's a couple there. There's one over here as well. Over here, over here. Okay, so you can see him in the fog too, so that's kind of nice. And over there. Alright, so it's going to be a little bit of an adventure. What do these guys have? Oh, they got poison globators. They're also taking damage right now because they're in, in a mountain pass. The runes are ready. The runes duty is never done. Alright. Uh, these currently don't have any of those. Almost reminds me of all. Packing. But yeah, I don't think there's any diplomacy we could really do at the moment. So we're just going to have to... We're just gonna have to make it work. Thrice Curse Peak. Uh, oh, we got a gold mine here too. Nice. We got a lot of stuff we gotta build here though, unfortunately. I think we crank out the gold mine though. For right now. Let's crank out the gold mine. Bearded Skulls is larger. Yeah, that's the capital area, so. What's up? All right, let's go. All right. Oh, uh, yeah, this is the new um, auto-calculate system as well, is we don't have a balance of power bar anymore. It'll tell you what the battle result is going to be and the kind of casualties you're going to take. Um, also, this is flashing now to let you know that you have banners that you haven't used. So that's nice. Uh, and also, when you mouse over the auto-calculate, if you're going to lose any, like, any full units, they should, like, turn red over here. Like, so if I, like, if I moused over auto-resolve, um, it's, so basically, it would be a pure victory for me, and I'd lose a bunch of guys, but I wouldn't lose any actual units, like, full units if I did this. So this goes on the artillery, because we want that uh, as explosive damage. And then bonus versus large. And expert charge defense. Let's give that to these guys. That'd be kind of nice. But we are not going to auto-resolve this. We're going in. We're going in hot, boys. Nostril damnus. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> they do have some rat ogres. They do have some plague monks. They do have poison and They actually have a good amount of strong units here, but we're gonna take up We're gonna take up residency on this hill over here. Find your targets! So it seems like a good thing to do. It is a reckoning! And we do have iron breakers as well. Should help significantly. 
set these guys up around the hill here. The and we actually should pull them in slightly. Iron breakers. So that they do have the, the that they do have the advantage of sitting on the hill. The this guy has rune of speed. And then this guy has oath of steel and rune of speed. Gotcha. Also, this has explosive ammunition, so we have that going for us. Let's take a look at these bad boys. It's been a while since I played the dwarves, so. My long beards. Iron breakers. Short and angry. Iron brow here. Quarrelers. And then my catapults here. We'll have to see how well this explosive ammunition works out for us. Should be able to bust these guys up pretty decently. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't start with it. All right, let's go. Attack. Throw some rocks at these uh, poison and global deers here. We'll see how accurate we are. If we're really inaccurate, then we'll uh, change it up to like these guys. War machine ready. Let's try to toss some in on these clan rats here. That's pretty. It's pretty good damage. I mean, he's already did a pretty good amount of damage to begin with, but shoot the plague monks. Like having them explode too means at least if they don't hit dead. Dead. Oh gosh, nice, nice hits there, guys. Yeah, it's like mortar shots. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> We're having trouble connecting now, so that's nice. There we go, finally. Alright, quarrelers, we need to shoot these rat ogres as they come up. So that's gonna be important. So those guys are gonna be able to do a lot of damage to us, potentially. There you go. We're gonna swap some of those quarrelers just shooting at those guys. We're gonna have people running up behind us too. Swing some guys around back here. I mean, they're gonna take a little while to get there, so it's that big of a deal, but still. You. Oh, this is AoA. Okay. Oh, probably because he's a rune lord. He's got AoA. That. Master of Runecraft. Push him in here. Push him in here. This does my attack too. Oh, this is also AoE. Okay. That's really good then. So that's a cooldown. Casting the runes. My Grumney. Pull him back. Those guys are getting shredded, so that's good. Some of the enemies are coming back around, too, it looks like. My poor freaking Iron Breakers are just getting rinsed here. Uh, it's just all the freaking... It's all the missile attacks and... Uh, um, I think it's these Poison Wind Globadiers as well are just doing a lot of damage. Yeah, the poison poison and globadiers are doing a lot to us, honestly. Dwarf warriors. Well we're gonna pull these guys back. Yeah. Actually, first we're gonna throw first we're gonna throw explosives, yes. and then we're gonna pull those guys back. Oh, there we go. Ready. Move to attack. Go. Oh. 
Pull you guys back a little bit so we can get some more stuff chucked in there. Push these guys up in. Get these guys up the hill so they can chuck explosives down. That'd be nice. Pull these guys out in the flank as well. All right, we're also not getting flanked, so that's good. All right, these guys can commence chucking explosives down the hill here. Suck it, rat boys. Nobody likes you. I think he just killed a lot of his own dudes there, actually. You get on top of that. There we go. Oh, the speed, go. Or, uh, Rude Speed. Chase him down. Go get him. Fast dwarfs, go. Oh, uh, Iron Breakers barely lost any models. Yeah, they're going to heal up quite a bit off of this. Uh, you take the weekends off. I was hoping for more Tropico. Uh, I was playing Tropico earlier before uh, the embargo dropped for the FLC Lord here. Uh, so this is early access to the free lord that's being uh, released to everybody on the 14th. Hey, Star Killer. Oh yeah, I, I have to work my my other my actual like civilian job on the uh, on the weekend, so I don't stream normally on the weekend because of that. Just try to chuck explosives at guys as they retreat until they get more off the board. Crush stores have such great range. 440 is really nice. Still not a rocket battery, but you know. I'll take a right ready for a breakdown. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Mighty Sharpie. 1986. Thank you for that follow. Anger for building 7% growth, 20% local province, or public order local province. Oh, nice. Both gold and treasury. Uh, have you still gotten to Vermintide and it's amazing? Yeah, Vermintide's a good game. I haven't played the second one. The original one is fun as hell, though. Um, I imagine the second one's fun as hell, too, at least from my understanding. I, I know that people have had problems with Fat Shark as a company a bit, but... Oh, that's two turns. I'm playing the second. Yeah, yeah I know Ultima loves loves it. <laughs> Fat Shark is shite. Yeah, yeah, it seems to be the case. It's like people like the game, but they don't like the company. They're like, screw these guys. All right, I'll drink Top to victory. Clear Kruber is awesome. Taking knowledge. Taking knowledge. All right, where's the edge of this territory? I think I'm standing on it right now. Glory for Caracaso. Because I can't quite get to the Mine of the Bearded Skulls this turn, unfortunately. So we can't go at it Thor right away. So, let's get Root Marcher. Because 10% campaign movement at range is... OP. Oh, neat. They added this, too, apparently. I don't know what this does. Hang on a second. So, uh... There we go. Yeah, look at that. So if you know, if you know what you're looking for... You can search for stuff in the skill tree. Cool. <laughs> when you glitch and die because the enemy's spawning right on you, it's called getting fat sharked. So it's kind of like getting, it's kind of like getting Tarkov. Our characters in Vermintide super strong or escape it easy to get? Well, the characters in Vermintide are like exemplars of their races or whatever, so. 
So they are. They would be considered hero units or lord units or something in the case of uh, if you were to compare them to like Warhammer characters, essentially. Yeah. Create the room of speed. Scouting, probably. Magic drop chance increase. Yeah. That actually, getting magical items can be so rough sometimes, so scouting is pretty nice. Oh, also we have hero action hardened armor. Armor's increased additional three. So you can do like a, you can like do an action on your own army that gives them more armor. Assist army, increases the armor of the parent army. Oh, so this is just being embedded? It's a hero action. Sharpened weapons. So this might be... I'm not sure if this is... It says parent army, which makes me think it's embedded. But... Hero action makes me think it's... Uh, like something you do to your own army. Kerber is a normal human, I think. You know, a lot of small horror by himself. Well, yeah, I mean, Carl Franz is a normal human too, right? Uh, I think you have to choose between hard armor, sharpened weapon, or scouting. These don't unlock until rank 5, so... Carl was a titan to leave that man's alone. <laughs> Tactically normal guy. Not somebody I'd want to get in a fight with. Alright, uh, let's get a couple of miners with blasting charges. And we'll get another dwarf warrior. Yeah. I like how dwarf warriors are great weapons. Their melee attack goes up by two. <laughs> ah, yes. Two. <laughs> That'll make them much more effective in melee combat. Uh, so we'll build stuff here and then we'll see what we want to do from because we're going to hang on a second do these guys have always our best ah uh, why don't the Myers with blasting charges have siege attacker missed opportunity I mean this has siege attacker right but I feel like uh, Myers with blasting charges should have siege attacker We honor the ancestors! Alright, uh, and I think that's it for the turn. I think that's all we can do. 